Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. Today is the first official day of online schoolwork, so I have a few assignments I have to do. Also, I'm two days behind in English on my reading because apparently for that class we started on Monday and I didn't know that. So, gonna have a lot of catching up to do. This is kind of dumb because my schedule is so easy, so I'm not used to having like homework, but this is not homework, it's like classwork since we're not going to school, but like my brain correlates it as homework, so I don't want to do it. So I guess I'm gonna spend the next few hours doing schoolwork and reading. So exciting. I also have a bowl of frozen grapes that are going to keep me company. Um, let's freaking do this, bro. I really don't want to do it though. <laughs> Okay, so I finished all my schoolwork. It's now smacking 3 p.m. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of that time was me going on my phone watching TikToks and YouTube videos and listening to music and not actually doing schoolwork. But, I, it, you know, that's just bound to happen anyways. I actually didn't even finish my reading that I have to do, but I decided I'm gonna save that before bed so then it gets me tired and then I can fall asleep. So it's like multitasking, it's like my mind. So smart. Good morning, guys. It's day two of self-quarantine. Actually, this is more like it's Thursday, so day four. But for this vlog, it's day two. <laughs> so I set an alarm this morning for 8 a.m. Ended up sleeping in for like 30 minutes. Every time there's like breaks and stuff, I cannot wake up early. It's like my body knows I'm on a break so I can sleep in, but like I don't want to sleep in. Where I live, everything is basically closed, including the gym. So I've been having to do at-home workouts. So that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. I used to do a lot of at-home workouts and I never really liked them. I just never really got a good workout out in and I was never really satisfied. It just is not for me. But in these times, obviously, I'll settle. I'll do them. I'm trying my best to stay with routine and stay productive, even during this self-quarantine corona vacation that we're on. Day two of online classes. No, I did not shower after that workout. Um, I'll do it later. I haven't showered in maybe the past two days and I have been wearing the same outfit for the past two days. Yeah, I'm so hygienic. Especially in times like this, wow. I'm just gonna do my work first and then get ready for the day because I don't wanna get ready for the day, feel refreshed, feel hot, and then have to go and do some school. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna feel freaking gross. You know what I do wanna do? I wanna get ready, be hot, and make TikToks. That's what I wanna do. I have a Danish. It's a cream cheese Danish. Got it from Costco. Let's, let's get working. I have to read Fahrenheit 451 and I'm already behind on the reading, but I really don't want to do it. But I can't do it. Like, I... No, I can do it. No, I got this. No. No, I got this. I can do this. I can't do it. I'm gonna shower. I'll save the reading for tonight. It is now Friday. Today, I kind of wanted to take things slow and not have this constant need to like be productive and like get work done like I have the past few days. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I spent the morning playing guitar and other than that, that's all I've done. We're actually in shelter at home, lockdown quarantine mode right now. So it's definitely getting more serious. I know you can still like go to work and like go outside and do outdoor activities as long as you're not close to other people. Whoa, it just got, the lighting just, <laughs> went down. I'm kind of bored low-key, like I don't really have much to do. I could be doing schoolwork because I'm very much so behind, but um, I don't want to do that. And also I'm planning to catch up tomorrow anyway, so like today's supposed to be my relaxation day. Even though it's Friday, it's a school day, but you know what? You know what? If I didn't do my work a la escuela, what makes you think I'ma do it on the interwebs? Bitch, I'm a Starbucks! I don't give a fuck! 
This is probably where I'm gonna be all day, just sitting here on my bed. Oh, Conan Gray's debut album came out last night, so I've been listening to that. Out of the newer songs, my favorite is probably Heather. I don't know why. I just vibe to it. It's a nice song. Let me do something real quick. I still remember 3rd of December Me and your sweater You said it looked better on me Than it did you Only if you how much I liked you, but I watched your eyes as she Oh, also, I'm wearing light brown contacts. I don't know if you can tell. I've been wearing these pairs a lot lately. I'm kind of tired of the more colorful contacts, but I'm also tired of clear contacts. So this is a good middle ground. A lot of you guys were asking me where I got my color contacts from, and I got them from TTDI. If you guys were planning to buy some, I do have a discount code, and it's Dustin if you want to get some money off. Okay, me being me, I'm going to be making Dalgona coffee, which is the whipped coffee that's a trend on TikTok, because obviously, if it's a trend on TikTok, I'm going to fucking do it. Also, I want coffee right now, so let's do it. <laughs> My voice is cracked. Um, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go to the beach and maybe get a coffee after or something. If that's alright. My arm hurts so bad, bro. I've been mixing this for so freaking long, and it's barely thickening up. It's like sort of thick, but not really. That's what she said. I don't know if I did something wrong or if it's the instant coffee I used. I think I messed something up. I've been whipping for about like 10 minutes and um... Yeah, so either I did something wrong or I have to keep whipping it for like way longer, which I'm just not gonna do. I'm just gonna turn it into a regular coffee and not waste it because we don't waste in this Asian household. But I'm sad though, because I tried this before and it still didn't work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's the instant coffee I'm using because I'm using like this Vietnamese type of coffee. It's more like a powder. I don't know, God. <laughs> So I'm at the park because I wanted to watch the sunset. I love going to the park and just watch actually anywhere. Like it doesn't have to be the park. This is just my go-to spot just because this has a nice view of the sunset. It's one of my favorite things, especially as of recently. And this is the first time I've gone out of the house in like a week. And I feel so weird. I feel like a rule breaker. Like I feel like I'm breaking the law right now. I'm not. You can be outside as long as you're just like being aware or not being super close to others. But like, I don't know. I feel weird. I've been cooped up in my house like all week. So I really, I need that vitamin D. I need fresh air or I will literally go bonkers. Surprisingly, there's a lot of people at the park, especially at these current times. I would expect no one to be at the park. There's people here, which is kind of weird. Getting depressed and all that happens to me every year. actually midnight. I don't know if you noticed, but um, my sleep schedule is kind of um, messed up, kind of trash right now. So that's great. I'll end up fixing it eventually. And I just finished with an Instagram live, which I actually do pretty often just because I love talking to you guys and I'm bored most of the time. It's like a good way to like connect with you guys while filling up this time that I have doing nothing with my life. <laughs> I thought I would take this time to chat with you guys about how I'm feeling and just about everything that's going on and what's running through my mind right now. So obviously I heard about Corona in school, but I thought it would like get under control. So when my school said they were going to online classes, I kind of didn't take it seriously. I was like, oh yeah, like that's if it's really bad, but they're probably not going to. They're just saying that just in case. And then my teachers started like telling us where to find the assignments online. That's when I was like, whoa, whoa. So this is getting, this is real? Like this is serious? Cause I live in this small boring town where like nothing happens. Everything that happens with the world, for some reason I had this like concept in my brain where it wouldn't affect us, which is a stupid concept. Just cause I feel like nothing happens. My life is so boring. My town is so boring. I don't really worry about things cause I feel like everything's just gonna stay the same in my freaking boring suburban white mom town. Everything was just like by chance. They weren't confirming anything 100%. Even last Friday, which was the last day of school, they still didn't confirm anything. Everything was still like, oh, maybe next week we might not have school and stuff. So it was all very, very confusing. So later on Friday, when I got this email that said, hey, you're not only getting school off for a week, you're getting school off 
for an entire month. What? The most I thought was a week, but even then I thought like, oh, the week isn't even gonna happen. But a month, I was, I was caught by surprise. No joke, the first thing I thought about was how it would affect my senior year. When I found out and I started driving home, I was blasting MX Tune and I was low key on the verge of crying, like tears, tears were going to fall. Because obviously I'm at the end of my senior year. These are the last few months that I have. And these months are the most fun months of being a senior in high school. Senior prom, graduation, and all the other small events that you have are now getting postponed or canceled or changed in some way. And it sucks, obviously, like this is not how I imagined my senior year. And the fact that this might last longer than a month, I heard they're gonna like extend it throughout summer. I just can't believe that could have been my last day of high school ever. And I didn't even get to say goodbye to my friends. And I didn't even get to like soak it in and enjoy it and have that closure, say the goodbyes. I won't get to experience my last day of high school because I already did. Like that could have been my last day of high school. And I didn't even know I'm never gonna see those people again. They're my friends, but let's be honest, I'm probably not gonna reach out and they're not gonna reach out to me and then we're gonna drift apart and then I'm gonna be alone. So, I won't get senior prom, I won't get graduation. Four years of stress and crying and anxiety and going through all this crap just to not be able to have a graduation. I've been looking forward to this for years. Like that's the moment everyone loves and they're like, oh my God, we're graduating. And now it's been taken away, like it's most likely canceled. If I'm being honest, I'm not super sad about it right now just cause it's been a few days. My emotions are kind of like numb right now. But the first day I found out I was so sad. <laughs> like I was so sad. Even if we magically somehow do come back after this month, everything is gonna be different. Either way, there's nothing we can do to fix that. The time has been taken away. And even after that, they're gonna try to cram all these events in a matter of two months. And things aren't gonna be run efficiently. They're not gonna be the same and not as well prepared. And also some events are bound to overlap other events. So it's like conflicted and I'm not gonna be able to truly do everything I want and truly just experience and have fun with my last moments of high school ever. And what sucks is I had all these plans to dodge document my last few moments in high school. Like I was gonna vlog senior prom, I was gonna vlog graduation, I was gonna vlog my last day of school. Now I can't do those things. So not only is this affecting my life, but it's also affecting my work life. Because obviously my YouTube channel revolves around me. Like being with friends and going to school, like those are some of the important parts of my YouTube channel and my life as of right now. And now we're on quarantine, we're on lockdown. So I can't even use this break to hang out with friends and like make content. Cause I'm cooped up in my house, which I'm bound to go crazy soon. I do enjoy my alone time, but I definitely, I need to be outside. Like I need to hang out with people. I need some type of social interaction. And I've been seeing a lot of TikToks from other people in class of 2020 who are also really sad. And that was also just making me feel really worse. I'll probably insert them in. Dear Corona, I'm a senior now in high school. I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm not allowed in my school. 12 and a half years of education sounds like fun, but get this, I have to leave it all before I'm even done. Reminiscing on the past when I was just a little kid, I would think about the day I walked the stage with all my friends. Only five or six years old, but 17 I would pretend, and now I'm here, but you took everything and put it to an end. Ain't that crazy? All the things that had me ready to move on? All the memories will say goodbye, cause all of them are gone. Might not get to graduation, no more sports are going on. I can save up all my money, no expenses paid on prom. You took all of my excitement, you took all my expectation, and you made it about yourself when you ain't had no invitation. So dear Corona, think I speak for those who with me. Thanks a lot. We really mean it. Love, class of 2020. Dear class of 2020, you entered the world during 9-11. You graduate during a pandemic. No doubt these events will shape you. You see beyond borders and political parties. You savor the good. You relish healthy lifestyle habits. The celebrations may need to wait, and you are okay with that. We are so proud of you. I feel like I sound so dramatic, like this is not that big of a deal, but it's, it is. I've been seeing a lot of people devalue other people's emotions. Our emotions and our disappointment is valid. And I've been seeing like these posts of like people saying how that's stupid, like it's just a graduation. People's health and lives are more important. Like yes, obviously it's more important. Duh, but obviously we're still gonna be sad. And as you guys know, I have this photo book that I've been like taking disposable photos all year. I'm not even gonna finish that. To sum it up, I feel like I got my senior year taken away from me. I just can't believe my senior year is over. I can't even 
put into words all my thoughts. My head just feels empty. Now I'm like kind of used to it. I have this really bad problem where I bury emotions really fast and like I just kind of ignore emotions until they go away. I can like cry myself to sleep and then the next day be completely fine and normal and like everything I was crying about, forgotten. Like I don't even remember anymore. It's really bad. I should really probably work on that and not suppress my emotions, but I'm just not very an emotional person. And another thing is I enjoyed my classes so much. Like my schedule was so fun because usually going to school it's a drag like you don't want to go you're tired my classes genuinely made me want to wake up in the morning and go to school and now i probably won't ever be able to go to those classes again and see my classmates again it's just it sucks <laughs> class 2020 so great i just feel i don't know i'm tired now so i'm probably just gonna go to sleep i kind of just spilled and blabbed everything that crossed my mind um sorry if it was really chaotic um it's just how i'm feeling Alright, should I go? Yeah, go ahead.